I'm so excited you're joining me this week for Art at Home. I'm going to teach you some really fun masks to make this week. These are super simple and you can do them with limited materials and we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to teach you three mask designs and we're going to have a lot of fun making them and you can use your creativity at home to make them. Now kids, I know that our parents have been wearing masks all over the place. But are you missing out on the fun? Sometimes we just want to wear masks for fun. That's what this week is for. So I hope you join me. Just a reminder, as you know, there's always three rules when working on an art project with me, Sarah. Number one, make sure you use your imagination. Number two, nothing you draw, doodle, make is bad or wrong. It can just be a different form of creativity. And number three, have fun. If you're doing those three things, make sure you join in today and every Tuesday and Friday for a fun art project. I do want to say thank you again to the Humble Area Arts Council for supporting me and allowing me to do this on their page and funding me so that I can make these classes for you to do at home for free. How fun is that? Well, a couple weeks ago, we doodled farm animals, and this week we're going to start out about making a mask about one of the best farm animals, one of the most iconic farm animals, one of the smelliest farm animals. Can you think of what it might be? Hmm, not a chicken, hmm, not a pig, it's a cow. Okay, first off, we're going to go through materials. I think one of the most essential things that we have today is a paper plate. If you don't want to use a paper plate, go ahead and use a harder piece of cardboard cut into a circle. Then we need some glue and scissors. I also use tape and a staple every once in a while throughout this video, but you could probably adapt to just using glue. And then we're actually going to need something to have a handle for the mask. I used a plastic knife on my three. Um, masks and if you don't want to use a plastic knife you can go ahead and use a couple straws taped together just something sturdy enough that it's gonna be a good handle for your mask okay I also have around something that's gonna make the shape of a circle uh, I used a little bottle cap for this week and then you're gonna want crayons colors or paint if you have paint around you can do that or else you can use different types of papers I use construction paper a lot on this project and then optionally, you can have some ribbon or yarn as well. So now that we've covered all the materials, let's jump in and make our first mask. As I mentioned, the first mask we're going to make is a cow. So the first thing I do is add on spots to the dairy cow. This can just be done with a black marker and a bunch of squiggly lines as you see on the camera. I color them in with a separate magic marker and uh, make as many spots as I want my cow to have. That's what I'm showing right here. Okay, so now that we've added the black spots on our cow, this is kind of where, I, if you were a kid, I would ask for adults' help. So I'm going to make the eye holes in the mask next. And the eye holes in every one of the masks that we make today is going to need a little bit of assistance from an adult. 
So I first make circles using that bottle cap I talked about earlier, and then I use the scissors to cut out those eye holes. Now you can see I'm kind of folding the paper plate over. Don't worry if it creases it a little bit. You can always kind of rub that out at the end. And then I cut the eye holes out. So that's what I do at this early in the project. So then I don't have to worry about cutting them out when I have too many more things done on the plate. Okay, the next part of the cow is the cow's nose. Now here I have the cow being a dairy cow, so I use pink paper for the cow's nose. And I just draw out a rough outline of an uh, oval, and that's gonna be the nose. So it's gonna be placed kind of underneath the eyes on the paper plate towards the bottom of the plate. And so you can roughly guess how big your oval needs to be. And then go ahead and cut that out and then we're going to use a black marker to draw on its nostril holes and its mouth. Right, next I'm going to take some white construction paper and draw out some shapes that I think look like the ears of a cow. This does not have to be any type of perfect shape. You can guess. I kind of cut even around the shape that I draw. I just drew it so I had a general outline. And then I'm going to place these shapes near where the ears will be placed. made the white ears of the cow, then I go ahead and get some pink paper and make the inside of the ears pink. If you want to, you could optionally also make horns for the cow out of some brown paper or use popsicle sticks as little horns. video that I'm just using a glue stick but you could also be using tape or Elmer's glue as well and then uh, for the next part I'm gonna use a stapler but if you want to you could use tape as well duct tape would even work for something like this there are no rules on what type of fastener you use I would just make sure it's gonna be sturdy enough for the fun things you're gonna do with your mask afterward All right, our cow is getting more to the final stages of production. So then I take a plastic knife and I tape that on the back of the mask so that that is what I use for the stick to hold it up. You can use whatever you'd like. As I mentioned in the materials part of this video, you could use a popsicle stick, you could use an old paintbrush, anything that's gonna be sturdy enough to hold your mask up. The next part is pretty fun. We're gonna add a little bow tie to this cow because what kind of bow, what kind of cow doesn't want a bow tie? So I make a little rectangle out of some bright blue paper. You can choose any color of paper you'd like, but I just cut it down so I think the size is gonna be good for the bow tie. And then I start folding this paper accordion style so it has cute little ruffles. I'm showing you the ruffles in the camera as it goes, so then it's a little bit easier for you to understand what I'm talking about. And then after you've folded this piece of paper all the way up, I'm taking another little strip of paper and wrapping it around the center of the bow tie to tie it all together.
Once you have the bow tie made, you can attach it to the plastic fork or to the paper plate towards the bottom of the cow's face. And then you have one classy cow. Always remember these tutorials are just guides for you to go by and feel free to use your creativity and imagination to make them the way that you think they should look. Believe it or not, mask one is already complete. You've already made a cow mask. Now, what's next, you may ask? Well, I think you're in for a treat. What's your favorite mythical creature right now? Is it a mermaid? Hmm, I don't know how to make a mermaid mask, so I didn't do a mermaid. Hmm, what else can we think of? How about a unicorn? Okay, in the next part of this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to make a really fun, really cute unicorn mask. The first step I do is cutting out the eye holes once again. I do this at the very beginning because I don't want it to ruin any of the other materials I'm going to put on the mask. So make sure, again, if you are a kid, make sure you get some adult help so this is safe for you. Do you all remember how we did the cow's nose? We're now going to do the same thing for the unicorn's nose. Again, I chose pink because that's what color I wanted my unicorn's nose to be. You can choose any color you'd like. And if you don't have paper, remember you could be doing these by just drawing straight onto the paper plate. I chose to do all these steps by paper because I think I liked the look of it. If you have paint or markers and you want to be doodling straight onto the paper plate, go for it. And then I'm going to use my marker and make his mouth and nose next. All right, I've made my unicorn's nose and now I'm going to make some little pink spots for on their cheek. I think that they have kind of little cute cheeks. So I chose some pink paper with pattern on it and drew a few circles like I did to cut out the eyes and then use those to attach to the unicorn's cheeks. Are we ready for the next step? I think you are. So next we're gonna make ears for the unicorn. These are almost exactly the same as the ears we made for the cow. So if you can remember those steps, then go ahead and do them once again. and then do what you can to attach them to the unicorn's head just like you did before on the cow.
here comes the really fun part. I chose a fun metallic gold striped paper for this part, but you can choose whatever type of paper you like. And this is gonna be your unicorn's horn. If you don't have any type of fun paper, use your markers and draw something fun that you want on the unicorn's horn. Use a marker and trace out just a triangle that can be the horn for the unicorn. All right, this step is pretty optional. If you don't wanna do this, you could just draw on a few curls onto the mask, or you could use paper as well. But I got out a few rolls of yarn and some ribbon that I had lying around and cut about two inch long pieces. It varied in length, there's no real science to it. And then I taped those pieces of string onto the back of the horn before I attached it to the mask. Here you can see me kind of putting the little pieces into a little ponytail and then taping it on top of the horn. So then when I attach the horn to the mask, the yarn is hidden in between the paper plate and where the horn starts. easier for me to use a stapler just to make sure that all of the yarn and the horn was attached correctly, but if you'd like to use tape, go for it. All right, this unicorn mask is pretty much done. All we need to add next is the handle. I use a plastic fork again like I did for the cow but it's up to you. If you thought the way you did it for the cow worked well, then go ahead and do that way again. All right, you guys have done great today. We've already made a cow mask and a unicorn mask. What's left but a really fun party bear. I hope you join me to make this party bear mask and you have a lot of fun with the rest of this video today. I've had so much fun already and I think you're gonna have fun with this last one as well. Okay, the first step we're gonna do today is cut the paper plate in half. For the bear, I used a half a paper plate because that's the type of design I wanted. You could try and do the bear with a full paper plate as well. It would be just as fun. Now, ideally, I probably would have wanted to use paint on this mask, but I decided not to because I thought that I would take up the challenge of not using paint. So instead, I'm gonna cover the plate with some brown paper. This is a little bit tricky, so if you'd rather color your paper plate with a brown marker, you could do that as well, or a brown crayon, and that's how you start the mask. It, that's totally up to you. But here you're gonna see me attaching brown paper to this half of a paper plate. Remember how we say to do the eye holes at the beginning of the mask making? That's what I'm going to do next so that I don't ruin any more layers of the paper. So again, grab your adult and a pair of scissors and try and make those eye holes next.
All right, it's time to make a nose for your bear. For this bear, I chose to make a really big oval-like shape, and that is gonna be the middle of the bear's face. So I cut, out, cut it out out of white paper, and then I'm gonna use a black marker and draw on his nose and his mouth. Make sure you watch closely to the tutorial or look up on your own. What does a bear's mouth look like? And you can make your own version. Next, I'm gonna use the same paper that I used to cover the mask to make it brown, and I'm gonna make ears for my bear. I just made some half circles. I traced them on there with a black marker and then cut around those so that it would be easier for me to follow my pattern. Next, I'm gonna attach those ears to the side of the bear's face. I use tape for this. Again, you can use whatever type of thing, medium that you want. Go ahead and try it. I use tape for this step, but go ahead and use whatever works best for you. This is really starting to look like a bear. You can play around with the bear as much as you want, just like any of the other masks, and use your creativity and imagination to make it your own. We're getting closer to where the end of the bear is, but I'm gonna add some cheeks like I did on the unicorn. I used some pink paper that I found and I just draw a couple little circles and cut them out with my scissors. All right, just as we talked about with the cow, I wanted it, it to have a bow tie. Well, this bear, I really wanted to have a party hat. So I took a piece of blue paper and made a triangle, kind of like we did with the unicorn. Can you tell once you learn something on the other masks, it's easier to help you in the future ones? How cool, huh? And then I chose a piece of paper to put at the bottom for a little rim on the bottom of the party hat. And then I found a piece of paper that I wanted for the top, for a little ball on the top of the hat and made my own party hat for my bear. That hat looks cute, huh? So now we can put it onto the bear and the bear is gonna be ready for one fun party. Maybe a Zoom party or a party in your backyard. But anyways, he's ready for a party. I chose to add another plastic knife on this mask and tape it down at an angle so you can hold your mask up to your face uh, with your right hand naturally. And just like that, as easy as it is, we just made three super fun masks you can use when you're playing around your house. Wow guys, I've had so much fun with you today. Thank you so much again to the Humble Area Arts Council for letting me make these classes for you guys to do at home. I hope you had fun and I hope you used your imagination and are ready to go play a game of cows, bears, and unicorns around in your living room with your siblings or your parents. Join me again next week for a really fun class. We're gonna have fun things happening all throughout the month of May. And I do wanna remind you of our doodle time with Sarah on Friday. 
Friday morning. It's going to be live at 10 a.m. Central Time, and it is National Chocolate Chip Day. So if you could guess what I was going to doodle, maybe you already have guessed, but I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm going to be doodling sweet treats and fun foods to be eating. So look out. We're going to have a party again on Friday. So I hope you join me. All right, I can't think of anything else to remind you of or let you know for this week. I'm so thankful for you. I hope you're having fun. Get outside and enjoy that good weather. Take your mask with you and have so much fun as you start to enjoy the summer that's coming so quickly. Thanks again. Bye.